How to Price Your Products – An Introduction to Keystone Pricing With Amazon FBA, it's incredibly simple for anyone to set up an online business selling physical products. While a lot of internet marketing involves digital products, or ads being shown for sites that show other ads, at the end of the day, most consumers still want physical products. This is still where you are going to get the most revenue. And by using Amazon FBA, you'll be able to sell any physical product you choose with no setup or hassle. The downside of that? It means a lot of people can end up investing large amounts into business plans that haven't been properly thought out. It means that they might not, for example, have considered how they are going to price their products. So with that in mind, this presentation is going to provide one solution, Keystone Pricing. Keystone pricing basically means that products are going to be sold for a price that is roughly double the wholesale price or cost of the product. The basic business model as a reseller is that you are buying up inventory in bulk in order to get it cheaper and then selling that inventory onward for a profit. You get to keep the difference, which is how you calculate profit. It also works very well for Amazon FBA. So let's say that you have invested in 100 jeans. You paid $1,000 for these meaning that they cost you $10 each. Keystone pricing would dictate that you sell them on for $20. This in turn would help you to sell them at a reasonable price while still keeping a healthy profit. Why don't customers just buy for that price direct? Mostly because wholesalers will only sell in bulk. Okay, so is this a perfect strategy? Not quite. For one, this is only one method you can use to calculate price. Another effective option is something called the 1 to 5 rule. This means that you should sell for five times the original COGs, cost of goods sold. If the wholesaler charges a big markup though, then this won't be possible without eating into your profits. Then there is the issue of competition. What are the other companies selling their products for? Can you compete with them? What does the price tag you have added indicate about your product? And what about special deals and offers? Have you left room? These are all factors to consider when picking your price.